Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Turned off a little chilly. Had a cold front move through last night. They said we were gonna get some rain out of it. We got about enough drizzle to leave a few drops on the vehicles, not even really stir up any dust. So we'll see. They're predicting more rain next week and we desperately need it. It's been really dry uh, for quite a while now. Although there's still water running in the creek back there behind me. And that makes me happy uh, to know that there's, there's, there's enough flow in that thing to keep it running. All right, today is a little bit more of a serious, somber, uh, maybe personal video. I've been doing a lot of stuff on all the craziness that's happening and trying to, to wake enough people up maybe to get them a little bit more prepared. Uh, because I, I think right now is, you know, we're running out of time for those of you that that aren't getting yourselves prepared. And even the ones that, you know, that you are working on preparations, um, we need a little encouragement along the way and some extra ideas and some things to, to, to you know, focus on to get ourselves even more ready. And I'm working on some videos specifically on that. Try to get my wife involved. She doesn't like getting in front of the camera. She's a little camera shy, but... Uh, maybe I can get her to sit down with me and talk about some things that you just don't think about all the time uh, on getting prepped up because of just all the craziness going on. But there's a downside to, to all the stuff that's happening and uh, a more personal side to that. So we, I want to talk about that a little bit today. And on that, even though it's not specifically related, um, I just I want to mention something a request to my listeners especially those of you that that are the praying type um, one of my listeners uh, subscribers here on the channel and over on YouTube uh, got a hold of me last night and they are have experienced a, a pretty significant tragedy in their life something that no person should ever have to go through and they were asking for prayer and I'm not going to mention the person's name or any details as to what's going on because those of you that pray, you know that that's not needed. Uh, you know, he knows the name and he knows the situation. And all we need to do is be unified in prayer for this person out there that's needing it, that's requested it. And so I ask that you do that uh, today, tonight, uh, throughout the day as you pray to remember this person and their family uh, for the the tragedy that they have uh, they are faced with right now all right um, <clears throat> it's been a crazy year we've said that many times here everyone's talking about it about how it's just one thing after the next um, something that seems to have popped up in the last few days and it's been kind of an ongoing off and on thing for a while of uh, the new one is, is that there are two large pieces of space junk in outer space and that there's a very likely chance that they could collide in our atmosphere today as of the making of this video. Thursday evening is what they were saying. And it's possible that if they collide, uh, they could create enough larger pieces of junk that could come down in our atmosphere and could, um, could potentially cause some problems. You know, there's been more asteroids that they have discovered, near-Earth objects that are uh, coming close to us, and that, the, you know, some scientists say that, ah, there's no chance. Other ones say there's a good chance of, you know, some, something making impact. It's just on and on, constantly, absolutely constantly. And while there's obviously, you know, the obvious danger of New World Order and Civil War and uh, you know, loss of rights and the great reset and the changing of humanity. I mean, all this kind of stuff. It's on and on and on. There's another side effect to this of how it affects us individually, how it affects uh, our psyche, uh, affects us just in our day to day lives of getting through this. And some people seem to not be able to handle it as well as others and then others just become numb to it it's like they lose all feeling they lose all hope they lose all emotion and 
I have not yet determined, although I have a, a, a suspicion that part of this year and all of the stuff being thrown at us, um, that there's an underlying uh, intent to just overwhelm us, to overwhelm us with so much stuff that um, we either become so complacent that we just don't care, we come, become numb to it, that, you know, we're, we're on the edge. It's like we're constant. It's like, it's like the whole planet is just this boiling pot of water, you know, like a, almost like a pressure cooker that we're just on the verge of exploding. And every time some of us see something on the news, I mean, how many times have you seen something on the news? You're like, oh, that's it. That's the thing. That's, that's the kicker. That's what's going to kick it off. That's what's going to cause the meltdown, the explosion, the, you know, whatever it is. So I wonder sometimes if that's part of the plan. Whether it is or not, the fact remains is that this year is taking its toll on us. Um, not just with all the hype of things that's happening, but there's an actual physical toll, a real tangible toll that it's taking on a lot of people. There's been a lot of people that's lost their jobs. A lot of people have lost their homes. Uh, they're unable to pay their mortgages or their rent, maybe their car loans, uh, all sorts of, of tragedies that's happened. I personally, uh, through this channel and through uh, my personal real world life, uh, know people that have, have lost quite a bit because of what's happening in 2020. Um, there have been a lot of people that have died for whatever reasons that are just kind of related to the craziness that's happening. Uh, whether it's through increased violence, um, possible deaths related to whatever disease that is spreading around that's creating all this havoc and panic with people. Uh, or, you know, there's been a lot of uh, increased in things like suicides. Uh, just in my, you know, I was thinking, my wife and I were talking last night, um, and I was thinking over the past few years of my life, and, and I, I cannot remember, in less, let's say in the last, say, decade, of people closer to me, like, you know, they're, they're either personal friends or they're personal friends of personal friends or per family of personal friends. I cannot remember over the last 10 years of uh, being that close to people that's, have, that's committed suicide. And yet this year, there's actually been several people uh, that I had no, uh, or that are close friends or families of people that I'm close with that have committed suicide. Um, there's a lot increased depression. There's, it's just all across the board. And we could go into why it is and what that means, uh, where we're headed and all this, but the fact is, is that there are a lot of people hurting, and maybe some of you are. Uh, maybe some of you are, um, have lost income. Uh, maybe you're on the verge of getting kicked out of your home or already have. Uh, or you're just becoming increasingly sad and even depressed because of the state of the world. Uh, whether it's this looming, impending uh, explosion of the apocalypse or just the fact that you're watching your world, your society, this country that you, you may love, uh, just turn into an immoral uh, cesspool. And I know that we've been seeing that for years now, but it seems like just in the last 12 months, the, the things that have becoming commonly accepted as the norm, these repugnant uh, behaviors and ideologies that we once completely shunned as a society and knew that they were, they were immoral acts, they're now become normal. It's just on and on. So it's easy. It, it would be easy for most people to find themselves at times that they are, you know, kind of down with what's going on. Um, but I want to tell you that there is hope. Um, you know, I don't have all the answers. But we have to you know, realize that this is not the end. Um, those of us that are followers of the good book, we know, because the end of the story is already written, 
that what's happening right now isn't the end that there is an end and the end is good for us we may have to go through some troubled tribulations um, but uh, in the end good does prevail over evil there's also uh, hope in knowing that the odds are that a lot of the stuff that's happening this year is just being hyped up uh, while there, I'm sure there's certainly some legitimate facts and truths uh, but it's kind of like a lie um, most good lies have some basis in truth and I think that's what's happening a lot with a lot of the news and the the hype of all the stuff that's being thrown in our faces on a daily basis that while there's some truth in it there's also a lot of hoax and fakeness and and myth uh, being spread around uh, because well you know that kind of stuff sells better uh, it sells better to talk about disparaging uh, difficult and tragic and and blood and guts and gore and all that kind of stuff than it is to talk about hope and happiness and 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 uh, you know a bright future so also know that uh, while you may be down about the things that are happening some of its real but a lot of it probably isn't and then there's also hope I believe because we see this throughout history that every time a civilization a country a people go through a very difficult changing revolutionary time there usually is something bad that happens um, but in that darkness there is light in that evil there is always goodness and a lot of times because of the amount of darkness uh, that is spread about um, it actually draws more people to the light uh, than it would have before and what I mean by that is if things were just normal like they have been even though it's not been normal for much longer than most of us would admit to but let's just say for the sake of the argument uh, if things were normal like they were 12 to 18 months ago there may not be as many people uh, becoming awakened by what's going on in our world, the truth. Uh, there may not as be, be as many people taking, getting their lives prepared, uh, taking just general preparedness for their family and uh, self-sufficiency as seriously. And most importantly, if things were normal, there may not be as many people uh, coming to realize that their only true hope lies in the, the Father in heaven. So while we are um, experiencing a difficult year by even the smallest terms, uh, this year has, is, is crazy and many people truly have been affected. I mean, we're not talking about just the talk of something happening. There have been people that are truly affected uh, personally by what's going on this year. I believe that uh, we still have hope in a, in a brighter tomorrow and a better future. Doesn't mean that government and those that attempt to rule over us aren't going to go through with their dark and evil plans. They very well could. Um, but we have an opportunity to, to further the light of goodness to further the father in heaven's light um, in the darkest of times that's when we can shine the brightest uh, so don't give up hope um, even though you may be going through a, a dark valley in the shadow of death right now in your life there are others that that do understand it and I, I myself I've gone through some pretty tragic times in my past where I, I just thought it was you know my world must be over and, and no one understands what I'm going through and the truth is is that there are many people that understand what you're going through because there's probably many people out there in this world that have gone through something very similar to what you are right now and this is why um, I believe 
a community of like-minded people and it doesn't have to mean a community on the same property uh, to me a community of like-minded people could be a connection between me and you and whatever state you're in um, just knowing that there are others like us I get that uh, comment and email often of people saying that you know they found this channel and and they're just so excited and relieved to see that they're not the only one that thinks that the way they do and you're not uh, you're not quite as special no, I'm just kidding you are special but there are many other people that think like you do that are aware of what's going on um, and so throughout your day throughout your week throughout the rest of this craziness for however long it may last and it could be very well permanent um, that in itself is not a reason to give up hope no matter what situation you're in you may be by yourself in an apartment and thinking how in the world can I prepare to get through all this uh, I, I spoke to someone the other day personally a personal friend and he said I just sometimes feel that you know if this apocalypse end of the world great reset civil war whatever happens new world order he says I just don't know that I'll I'll survive through it and so I had to give him a pep talk on that that yes you can um, of course not everyone will but that's why we prepare and just the simple things of just being aware of what's going on um, and doing little things here and there can increase your preparedness and your survivability rate so much you don't have to have billion dollar bunkers and tens of thousands of dollars in equipment and food stored up to guarantee or to hope for a survival through what we're facing um, sure that helps but you can survive this just by having the mental awareness and mindset and doing a few little things in your life to get yourself ready so as I wrap this up don't give up hope um, there's a lot of tragedy out there but you know what there always has been uh, and we keep going uh, when we think that we are done that we are spent that we have no hope left um, the best thing you can do is just take one more step forward uh, and just take another one and then another one before too long you can turn around and kind of look back and say wow I made it quite a ways and then you just keep taking more steps forward um, I know it sounds really simple but the truth is is that's just how we get through those dark valleys we do that one step at a time and knowing that we have a creator in heaven that has promised us that he will always be there with us through whatever we go through uh, and you have a lot of like-minded people around you just reach out to them uh, even if it's through um, media such as this channel uh, there are people that you can confide in and you can uh, make connections with all right folks thank you for watching today and I hope and pray uh, that you uh, will be a little uplifted by what I've said. Uh, if, if that happens, then I know I've succeeded today. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.